Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother, uh, Siddharth, uh, probably from Sri Lanka. The question is like this. Uh, we are given uh, the market demand in a corner duopoly is, that is, uh, P is equal to, that is, price is equal to 140 minus Q. Uh, when Q is less than 140, is equal to 0 otherwise, okay? where q is the quantity total output of the two firms okay uh, there are two firms each with unit cost of 20 that means we have a marginal cost of 20 uh, firms can choose any quantity okay we have to define the reaction firms of the firms first part is this then we have to find the corner uh, equilibrium okay and lastly, we have to compare Carnot equilibrium with perfectly competitive outcome and the monopoly outcome. Okay, let us see how to solve this very question. Okay, now as we know, uh, in a Carnot uh, duopoly model, uh, we uh, take two firms, and in this case, we have the two firms, okay, uh, which have identical uh, marginal costs. Okay, so firms compete in terms of output. These are the assumptions of the corner duopoly model, okay? So I will not go for the theoretical part. I will just try to solve this, okay? So what we are being given? We are being given P, that is price is equal to 140 minus Q, okay? And this Q is actually, this Q is equal to Q1 uh, plus Q2. That is the output produced by uh, firm 1 and firm 2. And this is total output. This is our inverse demand function, okay? And also we are being given marginal cost is 20, okay? So unit cost, what we call the marginal cost is equal to $20, okay? Now, to find the reaction firms, to find the reaction firm for firm 1, okay? Or firm 1 is reaction firm, for that, what will we do? First, we will uh, try to find the total revenue for firm 1, okay? So I will write here a uh, reaction reaction function uh, reaction function for firm one okay how do we solve this first we need to find the total uh, revenue of firm one which will be equal to price okay into quantity produced by firm one okay that means total revenue is equal to price into quantity what is p p is being given us as 140 minus in place of q we have q1 plus q2 okay q1 plus q2 okay and to this we multiply this q1 okay it is very simple uh, total revenue is price into quantity and if we try to solve this will come out to be uh, 140 uh, q1 okay minus q1 square minus uh, q1 q2 okay this is the total revenue for firm one okay and what is the total cost total cost for firm one is equal to a marginal cost that is mc into quantity produced by the firm one okay and we assume here zero fixed cost in uh, total cost okay then what will be the profit for firm one profit for firm one is simply total cost minus sorry uh, it is uh, total revenue total uh, revenue minus total cost okay now what is total revenue total revenue we have calculated here it is that means pi 1 that is the profit for firm 1 is equal to uh, 140 uh, q1 minus q1 square minus q1 q2 okay and what's total cost marginal cost into q1 what is marginal cost that is uh, 20 into q1 okay this is the marginal cost uh, sorry this is the profit function for firm 1 and we are trying to find the reaction firm for firm 1 okay now what is the first order condition for profit maximization first order condition for profit maximization requires that 
the derivative of profit function for firm 1 with respect to quantity of firm 1 should be equal to 0. That means we need to differentiate this profit function of firm 1 with respect to Q1 okay, and set it equal to 0. Now what is the derivative of Q1? It is 1. We are left with 140 okay minus what is the derivative of q1 square so this two becomes coefficient so we have 2 q1 and this exponent is subtracted by 1 by power function rule okay actually it is like this q1 square its derivative is simply this two becomes coefficient okay and this um, exponent is subtracted by 1 this is the power function rule okay so let me rub this out i will not go into further details here so we have 2q1 minus uh, uh, we have the derivative of q1 is here 1 and we are left with only q2 since no sorry uh, I'm here also we have q1 so the derivative of q1 will be 1 so we are left with minus 20 and we set it equal to 0 okay now let's try to solve it for q1 so we have 140 minus 120 and uh, this comes out to be 120 okay 120 uh, minus q2 is equal to if i transpose this on rhs this will become plus 2q1 or q1 is equal to 120 minus q2 upon if we transpose this it will get divided so this is 2 here which comes out to be 120 upon 20 is 60 minus 1 upon 2 q2 okay that means q1 is equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 q2 this is the reaction for uh, sorry reaction uh, function for form 1 and what is the reaction curve or reaction function it is simply the best response uh, for firm one in terms of output for any output uh, level decided by firm two okay i report uh, i repeat uh, what we call we also we also call it the best response curve okay and it is simply reaction function is the best response uh, in this case best response for firm one in terms of output of for any output level decided by the firm 2 okay so how does firm 1 decides it is output when firm 2 changes it it is output is called the reaction function okay so this is that uh, reaction for uh, function for firm 1 similarly we can find the reaction function for firm 2 same uh, same uh, what you call same method will be applied and in terms of uh, tr1 we would have tr2 and we in terms of q1 we would have q2 and if we solve this will come out to be identically as the q2 will be equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 q2 and this will be the reaction function for firm 2 okay i will not solve it here because i have no space available here okay so i can solve it but because of the lack of space and i know you can done uh, do it easily so this is br1 best response uh, for firm 1 and this is br2 or what you call the reaction function of firm 1 and this is reaction firm uh, sorry reaction uh, function for firm 2 okay so this is our first uh, part now we need to find the Carnot equilibrium okay how do we find Carnot equilibrium we just uh, solve these two reaction formulas and find out the optimal level of q1 q2 and price okay for that uh, i will rub this out okay so we have two reaction forms q1 uh, q1 is equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 q2 and q2 is equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 q2 
q1 this is equation first this is equation second okay now just plug uh, q is equal to this thing in equation first we will get q1 is equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 uh, in place of q2 we have this 60 minus 1 upon 2 q1 okay and if we try to solve this will become 60 minus now 1 upon 2 into 60 so i will write here 1 upon 2 into 60 minus into minus is plus so we have 1 upon 4 into q1 or uh, if i just transpose this here so we have q1 minus q1 upon 4 that is if i transpose this term on lhs so we are left with here uh, two ones are two thirties are so we have uh, 60 minus 30 here okay now 4 q1 minus 1 comes out to be 3 q1 so i can write it like uh, this is 4 into q1 is 4 q1 let me write it 4 q1 minus q1 upon 4 and let me rub this out also <clears throat> is equal to now 60 minus 30 comes out to be 30 now 4 q1 minus q1 comes out to be 3 q1 upon 4 is equal to 30 which implies 3q1 is equal to transposing this it will get multiplied so 30 into 4 or 3q1 is equal to 120 or q1 comes out to be 120 upon 3 this is 3 ones are 3 fours are that means q1 will come out to be 40 so this is the Carnot equilibrium for this very question that is firm one will produce 40 units and similarly what will uh, firm two produce so just plug q1 is equal to 40 uh, in uh, this equation okay so put putting q1 is equal to 40 in second equation we will also get uh, q2 is equal to 40 okay so let us check it out so q2 is equal to 60 minus 1 upon 2 in place of q1 we have 40 here okay so this comes out to be q2 is equal to 60 minus 2 ones are 2 20s are so this is uh, 60 minus 20 comes out to be uh, 40 okay that means q1 is equal to 40 q2 is equal to 40 okay this is the core not equilibrium output and what will be the price so price will be equal to uh, that is 140 minus q1 plus q2 okay this is 140 minus what is the value of q1 which we got that is 40 plus 40 okay and this is 140 minus 80 that means uh, this will come out to be 60 that means equilibrium price in Carnot will be in this Carnot uh, yeah, model will be 60 q1 will be output produced by firm one will be 40 and output produced by second firm that is firm two will be 40 okay so this was the solution of our first two parts now we need to compare the Carnot equilibrium uh, with perfectly competitive and monopoly outcome okay so i will try to mathematically explain how what will happen when the number of firms becomes infinity in case of perfect uh, perfectly comp uh, competitive outcome and what will happen when there is only one uh, one industry sorry one firm okay so uh, it will not be possible for me to show that very stuff uh, in this video so in the next video i will show you uh, the third part okay it is a mathematical uh, more of the mathematical it will take time okay so uh, thanks for your cooperation and love which you have shown and please share and subscribe this channel with your friends thank you